Inter led the league table virtually from start to finish last season and the champions can seize the Serie A summit after just four games of their title defence, provided they win tonight at Monza. Alessandro Nesta is still seeking his first win since taking charge of the Brianzoli and there are no tougher opponents in the Italian top flight than the Nerazzurri. Lautaro Martinez leads the line for the champions, still looking for his first goal of the early portion of this season. And we are just moments away from this Sunday night fixture at Upawa Stadium. It's Monza against Inter. Nesta seems to know his best 11 and picks the same team that drew in Florence prior to the international break. On target that day, amongst others, was Sir Daniel Maldini, who has caught the eye of Italy head coach Luciano Spalletti, the very physical direct Milan Juric will lead the line for the Brianzoli this evening. With uh, Manchester City and Milan on the horizon, Simone Inzaghi brings in Carlos Augusto and De Vrij at the back, along with Aslani and Fratesi in midfield. Lautaro Martinez, despite being last season's capo cannoniere, is still waiting for his first goal of this nascent season. Plenty of quality to come from the bench, including Chalanolu and Barella, amongst others. The victory here tonight, Inter could go top of the pile in Serie A. It's a feeling they've been used to in recent seasons, but not yet one they've experienced so far this campaign. We're up and running at Upawa Stadium. Aslani. Di Marco. Nice leave by Turam. Lautaro Martinez for Fratesi. And still Fratesi. Turam now. Inter guilty of overplaying. Monster wanted the flag, which didn't come. Yeah, but it's, it's incredible. Fratesi is always there. He's a player that creates chances every single game he plays in. Yeah, I agree with you. Fratesi had the chance a couple of times to, to shot towards Turati, but rather went for a pass into Turam feet. Good combination between the two Inter strikers. Again, Maldini showing just how comfortable he is, but he's given it to Di Marco, and that was very nearly the opening goal. Itzel's beaten the press. This is Kiriakopoulos, Carboni racing forward from centre-back. Caprari with the ball in, away by De Vrij. Here's Maldini, well watched by Sommer. Mkhitaryan, Di Marco, Lautaro Martinez, really should have hit the target. Yeah, this is a glorious chance. Combining well on the left, Mikitarian and Di Marche. What a sweet ball for Inter skipper. They didn't find the net here, the frustration. And now Inter from a corner. Without Shalom, Lazlani is on the ball alongside Di Marco. Lazlani with the corner. And it's ended up off target. Lautaro wants another corner. Itzo claiming he was fouled. It is just a goal kick. Yeah, great corner played from uh, Aslane here. Yeah, Pavard and Lautaro both uh, together. Carlos Augusto. Here's Mikitarian. Pessina did enough. Now oh, he's given it away. Not a game high on quality so far. Di Marco. It's a good looking ball in. 
and that for Fratesi, a big opportunity. Yeah, we said this so many times. Every single time he plays, he he's always involved in chances of scoring goals. Di Marco with the ball in. And Pavar got in front of Turam. Not sure who is the better placed. Yeah, another decent delivery from uh, Di Marco. But yes, good job by Kyriakopoulos plus Izzo. I saw Pavar and Turam go close in the previous corner. This time it's short. Miki Tarian. Di Marco for Lautaro Martinez. Di Marco was offside. Yeah, that was a training ground corner kick. It almost worked well, but Bonza did a fantastic job keeping the line high. Good ball from Aslani for Mikitarian. Di Marco, Mikitarian into his stride. Should be the goalkeeper's ball. Easy enough for Turati. Kiriakopoulos with the free kick. Eats around the back. And there's no added time at the end of this first half. Inter underwhelming. Unable to break down Monza thus far. The home side have held their own despite the likes of Marcus Turam and Lautaro Martinez leading from the front for the reigning champions. Vinter are to go top. They'll need to be a lot better in the second period of 45 minutes because thus far they've not had the answers to defeat Monza. At the break, Monza nil, into nil. Simone Inzaghi has had a quarter of an hour to consider how best to break down Monza. Luciano Spalletti might have a few ideas of his own about the way this game is panning out. And as ever, the Italy head coach very graciously posing for some selfies. We also saw that Daniel Maldini's father is here, Paolo. Famous in his own right, of course. An Italian footballing legend. But here he's very much on paternal duties. Maldini is one of Monza's most creative and most dangerous players. But so far, neither he nor Juric, the two players to have found the net for the Brianzoli so far this season, have been able to really test Jan Sommer. There he is, Paolo Maldini. Proud father, I'm sure, this evening. Goalless after 45 minutes. Inter won't want to let this opportunity slip after Juventus's goalless draw at Empoli last night. Well in by Pablo Mari, Juric for Pessina. Looking around for colleagues in red. Here's Pedro Pereira. Now Maldini. Caprari was waiting. Pavar puts it behind for a Monza corner.
Fratesi. Pessina had a couple of opportunities to get the cross in. Eventually did so the third time of asking, but it was straight to Sommer. Inter's turn to probe. Pava, Turam, off target. Look like the copy of the goal that Turam scored against Genoa in the opening game of the season. Brilliant ball in by Pavar. Look to Ram with Lautaro. Didn't find the target, but this is the kind of service that he loves to receive. Time for a triple change. Simone Inzaghi making things happen now. Lautaro Martinez hasn't appeared his sharpest. He, along with Darmian and Mikitarian, coming off as part of this three pronged substitution. It is an inter debut for Piotr Zielinski, having signed on a free transfer once his contract expired with Napoli. Medi Taremi, we've already seen. And Denzel Dumfries, who looked like he was leaving at the end of last season has instead stayed. Aslani for Di Marco. Taremi in space. Here's Zielinski. Aslani, the queuing up. Turam was waiting. Medi Taremi now scuffed it. Expecting more from Taremi. Yes, that was a Monza player ready on the rebounds there on the 50-50 ball. Kiriakopoulos, but you need to do better. You can do better. Bench. It is time for Danny Mota. Caprari will make way. Two very similar players. We have seen from Danny Mota over the last couple of seasons that he's more than capable of a match-winning moment. But great to see Caprari fit and playing again. And very soon... I'm sure he'll get that goal he's been waiting a long time for. Pavar, good looking ball, too high though for Taram and no one backing him up. Di Marco. And another issue for Inter is the fact that Manchester City so far have won all of their matches in the Premier League and Erling Haaland has scored nine goals in four games. But that can wait until next week. Zielinski. Still going, Zielinski. Inching further towards goal. Aslani. Turati had it covered. Yes, ambitious, but can't be the option. Especially because you consider Monza defending with ten players, just Juric was uh, not defending. On by Taremi to Ram, looking for Federico Di Marco. It's done well here. Nice idea to turn it back into the middle. Kiriakopoulos, Pedro Pereira, Daniel Maldini, Juric calling for it, Maldini, here is Juric, he didn't connect. That was the ball that he is waiting all night, I think the Vrijl did well, because there you know that you just need to use your body, it's so good that but finally, Monza creating something. Maldini withdrawn. So an opportunity for Alessandro Bianco. It's his Monza debut. Dumfries with the long throw. 
Away by Carboni, straight to Zielinski. Di Marco struck it well. Fratesi dragged it wide. So now plenty of uh, power. Fire up front for Inter with Arnautovic, Taremi and Correa playing. Kiriakopoulos in towards Juric. It was always a little too much on the ball. Yeah, but I think the Inter defenders are defending properly. You can see here Carlos Augusto looking for the contact, showing his strength, because Juric was a decent ball for the main striker. Zielinski. Arnautovic, Taremi for Carlos Augusto. Torati couldn't hang on, but he did enough. Juric, that's a clever knockdown. But he's been penalised for catching Zielinski. Bondo down into the path of Kiriakopoulos. Pessina. Itzo getting involved. It's his cross. And what a header that is from Danny Motta! It wasn't Juric, it was the man behind him. The substitute with a big goal against the champions. They've only needed one chance in the end. And in the final 10 minutes, Monza lead against Inter. Incredible, Patrick. Everybody was waiting, Inter to score. But somehow Monza find their magician in the middle of the box. Finding the net with an absolutely bull header. This ball meant to be probably for Juric Mamota Carvalho, who's got goal in his locker. Find the net and put surprisingly Monza ahead of Inter. Short by Di Marco. It's back with him. Di Marco's ball in. Dumfries rising well. And Torati tipped it over the top. Carlos Augusto, Mediterrani, Correa, nice take and turn from Carlos Augusto and Dumfries with the equaliser. And there's still time for Inter to turn this game around. It was Danny Motta off the bench for Monza, it's Denzel Dumfries who delivers here for Simone Inzaghi. We just say that. If you reach that area and put this and ball in, that's a completely different story from one wing back to the other. Di Marco. Here is Fratesi. And still, it was an almost another of his moments. We're into a fifth minute of added time here. This will be surely the last action of the game. The captain is over the free kick, Matteo Pessina. He could go for goal himself. He might seek out Danny Motta or Juric. Pessina strikes the free kick and Sommer watches it over. Two points dropped for Inter, but it could have been a lot worse for the champions. Danny Motta scoring in the last 10 minutes. Still no win for Alessandro Nesta, but his side came very close to defeating the Nerazzurri. Danny Motta with a fabulous goal off the bench. But the equaliser also came from a substitute. Denzel Dumfries getting into out of a hole.